Hello and welcome to my latest RG350 video. So today I thought we would have a look at the Nintendo SNES emulator that's uh, on the RG350. Um, the one that comes with it is called Pocket SNES and uh, apparently this is a really great emulator. I have had a little go. Um, I played um, I played some Arkanoid and uh, a couple of other games and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, what I've done, I've pretty much put the full ROM set of SNES games onto the memory card, simply because um, really easy to get hold of nowadays. Um, and uh, what we'll do, I've got basically a list of sort of the top 100 games or so. Um, I'm not going to play all 100 because we don't have time for that, but I'm going to do a, a few minutes of uh, some of my favourites perhaps and uh, we'll see how we get on and see how the emulator handles it and how this uh, this little device handles it as well. So why don't we start with perhaps the greatest game on the system or certainly one of them and that's um, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Now this has been re-released on and updated on the Nintendo Switch and uh, uh, 3DS and a very good job they did with it as well. But this was the original. Now I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how to play Zelda. So we'll just watch the first uh, little opening bit, see how we get on. Oh, and it's absolutely pouring down. Look at that. <laughs> well, as you can imagine, you're never going to have any sort of issue playing even the most complicated games on the uh, from the SNES on the RG350. If it can handle, let's turn the volume down a bit. If it can handle PlayStation 1 games, it can certainly handle SNES games. And there's an awful lot of good ones to be had, isn't there, on the SNES? So anyway, that's our first one, which was The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And as you can see, although it's raining cats and dogs, I think you're going to get a lot of fun out of that one. So let's get on with the next game. This is Chrono Trigger, a square RPG. Square have got a fantastic reputation. This one was released in 1995. <laughs> and we'll just see the first few bits here so you can get a little taster of what this game's actually going to be like. There we go. A lot of these, obviously, they, they, this is equivalent to how it would have been on a Game Boy Advance. But that's just a very quick look at uh, Chrono Trigger. On to the next one. This is a game I've been playing quite a bit of. I absolutely loved it in the arcade back in the day, which was Arkanoid. This is the follow-up, Arkanoid 2, Revenge of Doe. And um, what's really good about this one is you can um, make a note of the password or just look them up online and you can just jump to a stage. So if you get so far into it and you die, you can just jump to the next stage. Absolutely great game, this. We've all seen Arkanoid before, but it does seem particularly good on this version of it. I 
Oh, there goes my laser blast. My laser war, rather. But if you've never played Arkanoid, it's probably, but well, obviously it's a take on the old breakout game, but absolutely fantastic and uh, highly, highly addictive. I've spent hours on this one in the arcades and very much enjoyed it. The worst bit would be when you had just one brick left, like now. Sometimes you'd have to bang it into one of those enemies and they would adjust the uh, trajectory of the ball to get it so it would go there. Is that it? This is it, this is it, this is it. No. Ah, oh. got it. Anyway, <laughs> that's Arkanoid 2, Revenge of Doe. Super Metroid. Bit of a classic. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Is it like a little flashback? I'm not sure we can just jump ahead into the game. We're in. First set moves very, very fluidly. It's really, very nice, what's that? Cool stuff, eh? This comes one of those really highly recommended games that um, is massive in depth and uh, a lot of people really like it. Already time for a boss battle. Did I do enough? Oh no. Self destruct secret. Evacuate colony immediately. I gotta get out. I'm running, I'm running. I don't know if I'll be able to get out in time. Will I make it? Well, if I can't get up there, I can't. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, the screen's going, everything's going. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, 
I don't think I'm going to do it. Let me know. The drama. Oh. oh dear. The whole place is blown. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? So it was Super Metroid. So this is Super Star Wars. So the, the SNES had uh, Super Star Wars, Empire, and Jedi. Let's see how we get on with this then. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> yes, I think we can just get on with it. That's a blockade runner. A reminder to yourself, don't walk in the sand. God, I'm not giving it much chance, are I? There's Bad guys everywhere. And up until this time, there was pretty much, apart from the original Star Wars arcade game, there hadn't been a Star Wars game for a home system in years. So this was very well received, I can tell you. Fast and Furious. But that is... Super Star Wars. That's pretty good fun. If a little Fast and Furious, but that's okay. We don't mind. Super Mario World. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. So another classic, I mean, a real platform classic, this one. Let's try that bit. Mario start, here we go. God, it's been a while since I played this one. I can tell you. Ah, oh, damn. Yes, I can't remember the last time I played this one. It would have been many, many years ago. Always useful to have a mushroom. I remember playing this one back in the day. So you get the idea. This is. 
Super Mario World, and it is what it is, I suppose. A bit of classic SNES platforming in all its glory. This is Super Street Fighter 2. Okay. I play Blanca versus Guile. Look at my guy, he's like some sort of ape, isn't he? Oh, it's close. One, I feel one. I got him, but boy, was that close. Is it a best of three? Yes. Okay. Oh dear, he's got the best of me this time. Oh dear. Last round. Okay. No mercy. Get with the uppercut. Oh, got him right in the family jewels. Nice. Excellent. Is that Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo? Apparently, that's the best beat em up on this system. So, this is what Mario Kart was like. 28 years ago. <laughs> Some might say it's not changed much, but we know of course it has. Here we go, so we've got a bit of split screen going on. fifth and we all know how Mario Kart plays lap two already it didn't seem very long did it I suppose it would help if I stayed on the road He just picked me, I think. Yeah, he got me with his banana skin. I ended up, what, third? <laughs> Second. Oh, final lap. Well, you never know. Get the hang of it now. I did it. Excellent. We all love a bit of Mario Kart, don't we? Look at 
looking cool so far. So it's a bit of like a flight simulator, an early flight simulator. So look, up to home, yep. Boost, bomb, brake, blaster. There we are. I vaguely remember playing this one. A friend of mine had it, so just going through the ho hoops at the moment. And it's surprisingly easier to play than you might think. This is just the training mode, but it's super responsive, I have to say. Oh, stay in formation, I see. I should be where that grid is. That's pretty good fun, isn't it? And we haven't even started the game yet. Oh. Fast and furious, I have to say. Oh. Ah. Anyway, that's the training mission of Star Fox. And it looks good. I won't, I'll give it that. Certainly very playable. I do love a good shooter. I always have done. Always have done. Now, don't really remember playing the SNES R-Type. But I reckon it's going to be good. Okay, let's see. Okay, not as fast and furious as some of the uh, Final Burn Alpha games we've been playing lately, which are made up of a lot of side-scrolling shooters. So far I'm managing to keep my head above water. do with a bit of a power up on my way on my laser that I have to say I'm feeling a bit I'm feeling a bit scrawny at the moment damn I hit a mine oh that's frustrating that you have to go all the way to the back of the level and not just carry on Ah, so that was a power-up of sorts, a bit of a slightly quicker fire. as much fun as I thought it would be this one. That's all right and all, but you know, after having played some really cool ones on Final Burn Alpha emulator lately, this one's a little bit disappointing. So this is F-Zero. I vaguely remember playing this one. I think I had it on the Game Boy Advance, you know, when I had my Game Boy Advance, but I can't really... Sure I did. Sure I had F0 on that one. Mm. 
it's a space age racer. Slowly catching up with them. Ah, so those things give you a little boost. Oh. And it definitely pays to stay on the track. Classic music. It looks like I'm not in last. <laughs> so that gives you a little taster of F Zero. One of those classic uh, period racers. And I'd imagine you could get really into this game actually. Cool stuff. Okay, so we've got time for just a few more. Um, we'll have a look at Contra 3, The Alien Wars. This was a Konami game. Let's see how this one plays. Yeah, one player. Okay, stage one. Oh, that's a nice gun. Yeah, this is what we like, a bit of a bit of retro blasting. Always good fun. Oh damn, he got me, I was doing so well. He actually feels quite powerful. But very venerable. You don't have much chance, I tell you. Give an act, dead already. That's good there. Look at that gun. Oh, damn it. He's got a great gun. But it's hard. This is a hard game. Anyway, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. It's pretty good, that, actually. Classic Square Enix RPG. So while this one is loading in, and we're getting into the game, I hope you have enjoyed this look at the SNES emulator playing on the RG350, the Retro Game 350. If you're on the fence about getting a 350, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. There's so many games that come with it. Uh, the one that I linked to down below in the comments is one that you can get from Amazon. And I bought mine from Amazon UK and it came with a preloaded 32 gigabyte micro SD card full of about three and a half thousand games for various systems and emulators. And there's a direct link to that one down below. But if you check, if that one's out of stock, if you check some of the other sellers, 
you will find that a lot of them offer a preloaded micro SD card. And that's what you're looking for if you don't want to be bothering with uh, looking around the net for ROMs if you haven't got your own collection. Um, I've also put a link to the rather snazzy case that I use here. I absolutely love this case and uh, it's perfect for uh, storing my RG350 in. Now I know we've only really scratched the surface of SNES games, but this video is quite, quite long enough. If you have enjoyed this video though, do please give it a thumbs up. Do please subscribe for regular RG350 and retro gaming content. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.